Good evening, East Texas. Welcome back to East Texas. Now we are joined by the ever so amazing Miss Avery Niles. Avery, Hello. you had a pretty fun story today. I did. So I went um, to Jacksonville at one of the assisted living homes um, that is in the town. And one of the residents is celebrating today her 107th oh, birthday. Um, so it was really, really fun to see. They had a parade for her outside of the... Um, assisted living home and then inside they came in the mayor spoke um they had a proclamation for the city for her oh, um yes she pearls. had a she had a, a crown and a sash that said age to perfection um she um they had a, the mayor was there and then also um the state senator he uh wrote a proclamation as well really? for today and congratulated her on her big day so they had cake they had um cookies and punch and everything and just a big celebration for her and it was really really fun a lot of her family members and friends came out today and got to experience it with her mm -hmm. um and then also all the residents came out yeah. and got to sit out there and and you can just tell um how loved she is and yeah. how much she brings to this area. You know, the, some of the words that they described her was spunky, um, oh, caring. I dream of being yes. a spunky old woman yes. there. Yes. Oh, I hope that's me. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> they said she was spunky. She's just so caring and mm -hmm. loving and is so wise yeah. and, um, always has a story to tell, <laughs> which I just thought was amazing. And I actually got to speak to her one-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one too. And, I was in awe yeah. of her and, um, you know, how well she is doing at that age. Yeah. She is, I was told by a family member, only on one medication at the age of 107. Oh, goodness. And it's just a low dosage of high blood pressure medication. That is the... That's me. I'm on yeah. that. Let's go. <laughs> no, she was asking me, she asked me how old I was and I was like, I'm 24. And she's like, you're just so young. You're so young. You're so, so young. Oh, yeah. Francis. Well, I mean, what was her reaction like? You know, you've reached this yeah. milestone. I imagine there'd probably be a little bit of some sadness with reaching that milestone. But from her yeah. face, it seems like she's ready to go for another yeah. 20, if we're being honest. No, seriously. And they, they surprised her with all of this. She didn't know what was going on. So she was just beyond grateful and happy that this was happening yeah. for her, you know, and like everyone was there for her. Um, so really she was just all smiles and just so happy you know and I asked her you know what's what's your secret you know what's the secret we and, all want to live that long yeah How and you know what's even it? crazier like her brother was there too and I can't imagine that he's much younger than she no. is so they must just have really good genes or you know something <laughs> but she um she said you know really there isn't a secret she said that she just always tries to be very kind mm -hmm. and nice to people and always be the best version of herself every single day yeah. and um that is the motto that she lives by. Yeah. And so she kind of just pushes through that way. And she's like, there really isn't a secret. And yeah. I said, you know, what, what advice would you give to someone? Cause obviously she's so wise mm -hmm. and has lived a very long time, you yeah. know? And she just said, I, I just, I think that there needs to be more kindness in the world. I mean, there is something to say for longer life almost, I guess is what you can say yeah. by being a nice person. I mean, you see people every day who are just I mean, the only word that pops in my head is mean girls. Like yeah. You see mean girls every yeah. day. Just people who thrive on causing that drama, causing that chaos. I mean, but then you have Miss Francis over here. Yeah. Like, I have lived nothing but happiness, nothing but kindness. Look where it got her. I uh -huh. mean, that meanness kind of rots away. Maybe, maybe that's yeah. That's people live a For sure. Life yeah, maybe. <laughs> you know, and she was just, I don't know. I, I, I can't even describe it. Like, when I was talking to her yeah. and I was... I was just in awe. Like, yeah. I really was. I was, good, goodness, you know. I mean, you, you were saying you, earlier, yeah. she's sharp as a tack. Oh, yes, she is. And she, you know, could answer every single one of my questions in great detail. <laughs> and, you know, it, you can just tell she's just a light to everyone that mm -hmm. she's around, you know. And I got to speak to um, her youngest grandson as well. And okay. I was just saying, you know, what is it like, you know, getting to hear everything and all the wisdom all that comes stories, from her yeah. you know and she's he said that it's it's really cool because she's lived through so much and so much change that she brings a very unique perspective to the world um and you know it's really fun to tell her i guess 
compare where we are today to where we were yeah. and kind of some of the situations going on and just, you know. I mean, let's just take a look at some of the things that have happened in the last, that's what I was typing yeah. up. Is, <laughs> what has happened in the last 100 years? So it's 2023. So she lived through prohibition. Mm -hmm. she, the Jackie Robinson, yes. the Holocaust, Pearl Harbor, the Civil Rights Act. Um, there's one on here. This is May 24th, 1997. Just says crack cocaine. Uh, the Three Mile Island, 9-11, D.C. Sniper, Oklahoma bombing, Columbine. I mean, she's lived through the very first Super Bowl even and the first man in space. She's lived through some of the greatest yeah. and most historical events in our life. I mean, she was there for the first Miss America pageant. Yeah. That is absolutely insane. Insane. I mean, Insane. I just want to talk I, to her. I just want to hear yes. everything that she has to tell me. Yeah, and she apparently loves visitors. She loves talking. She loves um, getting to connect with all these different people that come in and out of the building. You know, they'll have they'll have people coming in working on the mm -hmm. air conditioning, and that's what I thought was really cool too uh, that I didn't mention in this parade. It was a mm -hmm. lot of the people that help around. So like like you know people that are. Um, with the hospice care that come okay. in and get to see her people that are, just work on the air like conditioning the cleaning, at the, the, the cleaning, cleaning people, the yeah, people. that she co comes in contact with uh -huh. on a, a more regular basis, mm -hmm. all in line here. Just you know, to say, one guy even birthday, stopped Francis. and brought out flowers for her. And it was just, it, it was amazing. And her brother, like I said, he was there as well. So she got to experience that with him yeah. too. And I thought that was really sweet. And um, it was, was a really, really great and fun day. And I think everyone had a good time getting to yeah. celebrate Miss Francis. I mean, just thinking about it, I'm having a good time. Oh, so yeah. I can't even imagine actually yes. being there. Oh, that's yes. amazing. Happy She's birthday, precious. Francis. Yes. Goodness. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All righty. Well, I will go ahead and let you yeah. go. Get on with the rest of your stories for today. Thanks, Avery. Yeah, thanks.